welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all extremely well. So for today's video, I'm going to share my 2018 luxury wish list with you guys. I did share my 2017 luxury wish list with you guys last year and it was really fun to film and a lot of you guys really seemed to enjoy it. So I figured I would share this year's as well. Now do keep in mind that this list might change over the next year. I might add a few pieces to it and I also might ditch a few pieces from this list. But as of right now, these are the items that are on my wish list for this year. And as always, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love it if you considered subscribing. I make new videos every Sunday and I would love to have you here. Okay, let's start with the first item, which is a shirt. And it's a Gucci t-shirt. It's called the Glitter Print Logo t-shirt, I believe. And I am so obsessed with this shirt, you guys. I think it's so beautiful. And I can see myself wearing this like a ton with just denim and some Gucci loafers or even with like a black skirt and the shirt tucked into it. I just feel like there's so many different ways you can either dress this shirt up or just, you know, really wear it casual and dress it down. However, I do feel that the price tag is pretty hefty for it just being a t-shirt. So I don't know if I can get over that fact, but it's definitely an item that's like on the top of my wish list. I just, I'm so obsessed with it. Every time I see that shirt, I'm like, oh, I need it in my life. I just think it's beautiful. Moving on to shoes. This year, I only have two shoes on my wish list. I know, that's insane. Of course, there's a ton of other shoes that I want, but I tried to only think of the two that I would really get a lot of use out of and that are like the main priority on my list, like the ones that I want to get before I get anything else. And the first pair is a pair of YSL just plain black pumps. I think they're so classic, they're so chic. Not sure if I want to get them in the suede or the patent leather, but I really still need like just a plain black pair of pumps in my wardrobe. And then the next pair of shoes is a pair of Gucci shoes, and they are another pair of the Gucci loafers. I already have one pair, they're the mules, and they're in the black color, and I wear them so incredibly much. Like, I wore them all summer, all spring, all fall. I was so sad when it got too cold out to wear them. So I definitely think that I need another pair. Not sure what color yet, and I'm kind of going back and forth between the loafer or the mule. So I'm not sure yet, but um, I'm definitely wanting another pair of Gucci loafers. Moving on to handbags. I have three handbags on my wish list this year. And the first one is a bag that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I already went and tried it on because I just wanted to see if I liked it in person, and I do, it's just so perfect. It's the Gigi Supreme Patlock bag, and I just love everything about it. I think it's so me. I think it fits my style so well, and I think it would go with everything in my wardrobe, like my daily you know, outfits. I think it would just be a perfect bag. Um, I love the strap. You can actually detach it and then just like hold the bag as a clutch. I love that you have like the brown leather around the side and then um, you have the black leather on the flap. So yeah, I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful bag and it's definitely like up here on my wish list. It's just perfect and I can't stop thinking about it. So to me, that means like I have to buy it because it's not gonna change. I'm just gonna keep thinking about it and yeah, I just, I love that bag so much. Another bag on my wish list is the Gucci Dionysus with the bamboo handle. And this bag was on my wish list last year as well. I don't think I'll ever buy it to be honest, but I do love it. That's why it's still on my wish list. I think it's beautiful. I especially love the one with, um, I think it's black, red, and green. I just think it's perfect, but I just think it's not realistic. I don't think it's a bag that I will be using a lot. And with the bamboo handle, I feel like it's pretty trendy. Although I do buy a lot of trendy bags. Um, I just think realistically, it's not gonna be the bag for me, but I still love it. And I think it's so, so beautiful. Okay, and then for the last bag, I have a Chanel bag on my wish list. Obviously, I like everything Chanel and I love all of their bags, but I never knew which one I wanted to get and I didn't want to buy a Chanel bag just to have one. And like I said, they're all beautiful and there's so many of them. I feel like 
the decision is so tough but I think I finally figured out which one I want or let's say I kind of fell in love with one and it is the Chanel mini rectangular and lambskin I think the size would be perfect for me I love that I can wear it crossbody I just think it's very classic very chic very timeless I feel like it would be a good investment because I would keep that bag probably forever. So for my first Chanel bag, I think it would be the perfect bag. If any of you do have that bag, please do let me know how you like it and like your thoughts on it. I would love to know. And that was it for my 2018 luxury wish list. I know there wasn't a lot of stuff on this list, but I'm sure as the year continues, I'll just keep adding stuff to it. Let me know in the comments down below what's on your wish list this year. I would love to know. As always, thank you guys so incredibly much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.